Hey guys, I'm Lance, and thank you for being here. And in this video, I'm going to be doing some glue gun lotus flowers. And this is in honor of our good friend Taslima Maya from Taslima Maya Arts birthday collaboration. Happy birthday to you. And I believe we have 14 artists that are participating in this, and you can find their videos in the description box. I'm doing a flip cup here. Um, and I layered my cup a little bit and then finished it off like a dirty cup and this flip cup is going to be the background for my stained glass lotus flower design. Now this is a 10 minute video so these things are going to go by kind of fast. Uh, I decided to do a flip cup but then I decided to do a wandering pour, pour another cup and do a wandering pour and kind of slash ribbon pour around it. And I'm just tilting this off really quick because you've got to get the paint off there Otherwise, you'll have cracking if the paint is too thick when it's drying, but um, yeah, I'm just Trying to get a good kind of interesting background out of this flip cup and ribbon pour madness <laughs> And I actually really love the way it looks um, love the colors the blues, I wanted it to have kind of like a watery feel to it because of the lotus flowers. And I love all the shimmer from the metallic paints that I used. And I love all the cells and the shapes that this flip cup created. It really did make kind of a beautiful painting. I almost hated to be doing anything else with it. <laughs> but this is what I was doing it for. And it is going to be my background for this stained glass technique with a glue gun and this was kind of made popular recently by, by Tanya Munt and Ta Taslima does this as well and you should check her channel out. She has some really beautiful pieces done with this mixed media glue gun stained glass technique also. My inspiration was the snow lotus that you see there that's a beautiful pink lotus. Uh, it grows in the snows of the Himalayan mountains and I am just tracing it around with some tracing paper and making my shape that will be the glue gun or the glue outline. You just want to kind of do that quickly. Obviously this is sped up also but you really don't have to be too careful with your line drawing. You just want to create a good basic shape design for your glue outline. I'm just showing you there that I'm taking all of my traced outlines and I'm just arranging them on the canvas to create an interesting composition. And now I am just freehanding some dragonflies. And so here I am showing you how I do my um, glue outline. And I really like my Seek One glue gun. It's really the best that I've found. And I'll put a link in the description box to this glue gun because it really is great. And I like the way it creates the glue outlines and it does not string. It doesn't leave those annoying strings so much like some glue guns do. So yeah, it'll be in the description box, but I've tried a lot of glue guns and this is really the best one that I have found at least personally uh, for my tastes um, where I feel like I can really handle it well and draw the shapes well with it. I've got my glue outline on some parchment paper and I'm spraying it with Rust-Oleum metallic gold spray paint and I really love this spray paint because it gives the glue outline a very molten metal look and kind of almost like jewelry like golden jewelry and it really gives that realistic metallic look and I'm showing you that I'm putting PVA glue in a cup and I'm gonna use a soft mop brush to apply it on the back of the glue outline. You know, just a tip, uh, instead of buying your mop brushes from like a arts and crafts store where they're probably gonna be quite expensive, just go to the grocery store or a pharmacy and go to the cosmetic aisle and you can find a blush brush and save some money. If you're enjoying what you see, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. 
and when you do, please ring the bell also. You'll be alerted when I upload new content, and please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Now, when you're applying your glue outline onto the canvas, you can use a damp paper towel and maybe a Q-tip to clean up the excess that might be, you know, on the outside of the, the glue gun outline. You don't really have to worry about the interior um, because the interior is going to be covered with paint. Just lightly press it down with your fingertips and it should seal really nicely. If you're interested, you can use the links in my description box to purchase the things that I use in this video. Um, you can also run some glue around the interior of the glue gun outline um, once you've got it on the canvas and let that dry just to make sure that you've got a good seal so that you're not concerned that you will have you know, the paint leaking out from the glue gun outline onto the canvas on the outside of the glue gun outline. As you see there, I am using some pigments from Black Diamond and it says Dragon's Breath on there but I, there was another label on it before and I think this was just underneath it because Dragon's Breath is supposed to be like a very orangey pinky kind of color and this is like a pearlescent color that goes between kind of pink purpley colored and um, like has glints of green and gold so I thought it would be a cool color for the dragonfly wing. And as you see here, I'm using a pipette to put the paint inside, you know, inside the interior of the wing of the dragonfly. And it's good to use these pipettes when you've got a smaller, kind of more intricate area that you've got to fill with the um, pigment or paint. And so that's what you see me doing here. Now, if I'm in a larger, like say one of the petals of the lotus flower, I can just take some on my paddle and put it into the area of the petal. And that is my glitter. And I thought it was kind of cool because I think the black diamond pigment is a great complement to that because this is a holographic glitter and it has like kind of green tones, gold tones, pink and purple. And it just kind of made those dragonfly wings really sparkle and I've also put if you see there I've also put um, some Swarovski crystals in the body of the dragonfly I just thought that was kind of a neat detail um, to put in there give a little bling and I have pearls for the eyes that you can see that I've put in up there also and now what I'm doing is putting in the paint and my pink paint that I have the my lightest color is um, Cloud has it's like a cloud mix and so I thought this would be a neat way to do Dutch pour and blow it with my straw and from the deepest color into the lighter color to kind of give it some shape and volume but it also creates this kind of really neat delicate texture that looks like an actual lotus flower to me uh, which I thought is you know it's kind of fun way for us to use our fluid art skills with this type of pour and with this type of glue gun technique and I also used wandering pour with the greens and the gold in my leaves and I'm using a paintbrush to just push it around and push you know the paint into the smaller pockets and uh, curved shapes of the petals and now I'm just giving you the nice flyover and you can see I really love how this turned out I know this video went really fast, but I have another video that I'll leave a link for up here in the top right that you could go check out that gives you a more in-depth kind of look at how I do this glue gun technique using my silicone mat and some ways where you can build it with skins off the canvas, let it dry, and then move the whole thing onto the canvas. So if you want to check that out, please click that link. Up before me was Shannon of Shan B Art. And after me is I Choose Crafty Kids. Please check their videos out and all the videos on the playlist for this Taslima Maya birthday collaboration. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial on the glue gun stained glass technique. And if you did like it, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching. And once again, Happy birthday, Tassie. I hope you have a wonderful day.